All right, so we're back as promised. Police knots. End of the year playthrough. Um, I'm pretty sure I fixed what the problem was with uh, my recording software. Now, for some reason, I had it set to record at 30 frames per second. So what it was doing, it was dropping the frame rate unnecessarily. It already it's already running at 60 frames on my machine, so there was no reason for me to drop it to 30. So. I guess I think from now we're actually going to actually f officially start the police the police knots playthrough. Um, you guys seen the intro and the trailer, so I mean the teaser that I made. So we're going to move on and um, just let you guys know I'm not using a controller uh, since this is an adventure game. There's not a lot of action. Let's, let's listen to this. この汚れた町、オールドエルエで、ネゴシエーター間がいの。ですね、アイカムネゴシエーター。yeah, so it looks like looks like I've fixed it uh, for the most part, so we should be enjoying a nice playthrough here. Sate. Let me move the mouse, sorry. Wait, quick save. Yes. My man John Ingram is a deep guy. Alright, so what do we got? Let's look around. It's a beer can. It's empty. They used to use aluminum for cans before, but these ones are made from biodegradable plastic. Alright, this is in the future, so. A Brady oil lighter. They're the manufacturer of the only lighter still in production. You don't need lighters or matches for today's bent cigarettes. Really? Bent cigarettes are cigarettes that don't produce any secondary smoke, which you light simply by breaking off the end. I say light, but there's no actual fire involved. They work off a chemical reaction, and even the leaves are sp specially processed. They don't give off any smoke or ash and make a room more pleasant, but they're not my thing. Okay, what's this? These are Muslims, the only cigarettes in the world that will give off secondary smoke. I don't like the pure bent cigarettes you get today. These are mixed cigarettes, part conventional, part bent. The only brand I touch now is Muslims. <laughs> so you, you gotta get them old cigarettes, them old school cigarettes. I'm telling you, man, you gotta get them new pots. Them new pots. <laughs> What's this? An investigation report to a client, though I haven't gotten very far with it. It was another child kidnapping, but. My negotiations with the kidnapp kidnappers failed. I couldn't save the child. He's probably already been cut apart and his organs trafficked to buyers. Sorry, kid. Can't tell me about it, Jesus. Look, look at the badge. This is a replica of the badge I had in LAPD. Sure does take me back. There's a picture from those days on the wall. Okay. Can I look at the gun? This is my baby, a Beretta 92F. I've used one since I was a cop. She's a bona fide recoil gun, equipped with a laser sight. I use special 10-round magazines with armor-piercing bullets. I don't care. I don't carry her, so I can go around shooting everything in sight. She's strictly for protection. Okay. A lot of cigarettes here. This is an ashtray. A cr um, I stumbled across at an antique store. It isn't, it isn't easy finding one of these. You don't need an ashtray for bent cigarettes, after all. True. The butts are starting to overflow. I guess I should empty it. Another beer can. 
It's half half empty can of beer. The only beer most people can afford anymore is this imitation beer. It sucks remembering how good a cold one used to be. How old is this guy? He, he looks like he's twenty, but I mean, it's, it was twenty five years later. He's probably like fifty something by now. We're not that old. Crumbled up piece of paper. It had I had this I had it stuck to the phone. My desk is a total mess. Come to think of it. It'd be nice if I could hire an assistant or something, but it doesn't look like anyone's up for working at a place like this. I've had a help wanted sign posted by the entrance to the building for quite some time, but no takers. It's like a little, another note. This is a piece of paper with information on a client. I've been asked to look for their four-year-old son. You just don't see many ransom kidnappings nowadays. It's safer for the kidnappers to quickly sell off the victim's organs to organ buyers, and they're guaranteed to see a return that way. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this one. Oh god. This is a video phone with a built in printer. Though I've disabled the video from my end, most of my cases come in over the phone. Clients don't particularly like meeting up in person. <laughs> What's this right here? I've got this pen when I, I've, I got this pen when I was in LAPD. The mayor gave it to me along with the award on the wall. It was a pretty nice pen for the time. <laughs> the time I guess huh? what is this a cup or something it should probably clean out all the butter that's on okay let's look at this picture this is me and Lorraine on our wedding day I was still a cop here in LA Lorraine dropped out of UCLA after we got engaged Lorraine Lorraine or in a wife she remarried? What a bitch. あの、事故起こした後、ビヨンドで再婚したらしい。今では他人に会えてる。She He's gonna get married, I guess. Lorraine was like an angel in her wedding dress. I still wear my wedding ring. He still wears his wedding ring? You fucking. You asshole. Lorraine had his friend at a flower shop arrange her bouquet. Okay. I remember discovering my rental tux didn't fit right before the ceremony. I originally had a black tuxedo. Wow. My life revolved around my job in Lorraine. Alright, looks like that's it. This is a photo of me and Lorraine at Lucas World. Check this date stamp here. December 24, 2008. This is our first Christmas together. I've still got the watch she gave me. It's one of those radio controlled types. It was state of the art for the time. Looking like a G. <laughs> I was a cop fresh out of the academy. Look at us, young and in love. Yes. Lorraine was a student at UCLA. We met after her place got broken into. Okay. Looks like that's it. Um, okay. What do I look at now? Uh, looks like there's some cabinets here. These cabinets are filled with information on past cases and clients. That's not exactly a pleasant read, but the papers inside are worth their weight in gold. Go outside, look. This leads out to the building's fire escape. You always gotta make sure your ass is covered with a good old plan B in this line of work. Alright. It's a filing cabin. I really need to get these organized. I think I said I can open it. I'm sick of looking at paper. Oh, yeah, so am I. Same thing. Okay, I can't open it. Alright, what's the stuff on the wall here? Ah, this is a newspaper article written at the time of Beyond Coast completion. I can look at this too, huh? This is a picture of Beyond Coast right after it was completed. The only thing they hadn't finished was the agricultural ring. 
All right. The headline reads, Long Envisioned Colony Complete New Era for Mankind Begins. So I could read like the whole newspaper? Are you serious? I'll read some of the article. Basic construction of the world's first outer space colony, Beyond Coast. Underway for several years near Lang Lagrangian Point L5 was completed yesterday. The first wave of immigration will be centered around scientists and engineers who will spend 14 months performing checks and gathering data. Immigration is scheduled to be open to the general public in three years' time. So people are going to live on this fucking thing? Beyond's position is shown in a diagram on the left. Okay, there's a diagram. Here they point out Beyond's location in space. It's in orbit around the L5 Lagrangian point. It's the red dot. Okay. What's this part say? Same thing. Can I look up here? Oh yeah, the newspaper is the Neo Kobe Times, one of Japan's biggest papers. It's just up here. Nothing. Oh wait, what did it say? Let's see, the date is 2010. 2010, well. Alright, I guess that's enough for that. Oh wait, there was something else. I have a model of Beyond on top of one of the filing cabinets. Oh, there it is. Okay. This is a miniature of Beyond. Ed made it for me. Ed's in a couple pictures on the wall. Alright. Wait, let me go back to this picture again. Can I read... I want to see if I can read this part. Ah. Yeah, okay, same thing. Can I read this? Okay, same thing. Alright, let's go back. Let's read this one. This is a newspaper article from when I was rescued from the EMPS. Survival ball three years ago. So that's the thing he was in when he got swept away. Someone loosened the damn screw. <laughs> Someone loosens the screw and everything goes to shit. Some future we live in. It was written 28 years after the one about Beyond's completion. Okay. 25 years... What was I say? The headline reads, 25-year lost voyage, police not Ingram's miraculous return. Hmm. I spent 25 years inside this thing waiting to be found. I've had cosmophobia ever since. I just can't go back out there anymore. Cosmophobia, so I guess he's scared to go back, to go in space. <laughs> Rightfully so. I mean, what the fuck? I'll read some of the article. Police not. Jonathan Ingram, presumed dead after an accident during a spacewalk in an EMPS. Prototype 25 years ago. Has been rescued by the unmanned exploration vessel Propaganda. His miraculous survival is being attributed to the fact that he transferred himself to an equipped life pod at the time of the accident and remained in cold sleep the entire time. Oh, so he, so he was asleep for 25 years, so he, that's why, I guess that's why he didn't age. He's gathering attention as a living example of the effects of 25 years of cold sleep on the human body. It took over a year for my muscles to return to normal after I got back. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, it's the same thing. This is a picture of me taken when I was a police nut. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's go back. This was a relatively small article in a corner of the newspaper. Okay. Let's check this one. This is a newspaper article about my accident that occurred during the EMPS spacewalk outside Beyond. It was written close to 25 years before the one about my rescue. This is a picture taken during the test spacewalk of the Yuri model APS. It was a prototype police suit for use outside the colony, the successor to NASA's MMU. This image was taken from a camera aboard a nearby space shuttle. This was me and the Yuri as we were released from the hangar. I don't see him there. This is a picture of me taken around the time of the accident. All right, so the article. Malfunction occurred in the Ver Vernier thrusters of the Yuri EMPS prototype during a test. Space walk of the device yesterday. The Yuri had been scheduled to be used by the pol police knots outside the colony. The EMPS has since vanished without a, tra a trace. The Yuri is equipped with a survival ball, 
but because an SOS signal can't be isolated, the chances of test pilot Jonathan Ingram being found alive are thought to be slim. The official tests have been scheduled for tomorrow. I remember what Salvatore said. Whatever you do, don't screw up. Don't screw this up, Johnny boy. Everyone back home is going to be watching. There were still a lot of people opposed to space development back then. It all happened so fast. Before I knew it, the four of them were gone. Everything after that's a blur. Next time I opened my eyes, I was lying on a hospital bed. Hmm. Just can I read the title? The headline reads, EMPS prototype malfunctions, police not Ingram missing. God, that's some creepy shit. Alright, I think I, this was the last one I did, right? Okay, let me go back. This is the last one. This is a newspaper article reporting on the success of the first manned mission to Mars. I took part in it while undergoing my police launch training. I was written the year, I was written, it was written the year before the article about the EMPS accident. The newspaper is the paper of the CIS, Commonwealth of Independent States. Headline, Man Walks on Mars, Global Collaboration Makes History. This is a picture of me encountering a Mars rover on the surface. It was sent to Mars with the Mars 96 mission. Okay. I'll read the article. The four astronauts, among them police not Jonathan Ingram, of the collaborative Mars project between Russia, America, and Japan, touched down on the red planet yesterday. This new chapter in space history comes 40 years after man first set foot on the moon. Let's see, the date is 2012. I spent that entire year in space. Oh shit. That's cool. Alright, let's go back. Uh, we looked at the pictures. What else is there? Some stuff here. These are books from the 20th century I found in a, at an antique media store. From the days when a book meant a real book, not software. This is a picture from when I was in LAPD. Me and my partner Ed were always together. Uh oh. Edo Brown. Edo Brown. <laughs> That's the boy, look at Ed. That's his partner. The black dude. That badge on my desk is a replica of the one I had then. Me and Ed have been good friends since the academy. We were a well known team in narcotics. Ed was in the bomb squad before he joined narcotics. There was a lot of terrorist activity back then. We stayed close when we were police nuts, too. I haven't seen him since my accident. Maybe I'll give Ed another call if my next case turns out well. Okay. I was in narcotics at the time. I was reckless with a pretty short fuse. I would have had a Beretta with me here, too. So he, he was loaded. He had a Gat with him. March 12, 2010. Okay. Me and Lorraine were a happy husband and wife. So they were married. My life felt so complete. Look at me, full of confidence. I'm like a totally different person now. Alright. What else we got? Ah, this photo was taken to commemorate the suction of the police knots. Five officers out of all the world's police organizations were chosen and trained. We were called the original cops after the Mercury program's original seven. We're wearing ejection escape suits here. These are obsolete now. Back then, everyone thought the orange colored suits were cool. <laughs> yes. Who's this? That thing we have attached to our chest is our police knots badge. So I still wear mine around my neck. That's Joseph Sado Sadaoki Tokugawa. He came from the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department in Japan. He's now the head of the Tokugawa group. I was absolutely ecstatic. Look, 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 look head cocked to the side. <laughs> Yo, that's the boy, man, John Ingram. But Lorraine, she was against me going to space. And when I went to Mars, that was when we started to drift apart. Okay. Who's this? That's Gates Becker. He came from Scotland Yard in the UK. He heard he's, I heard he's risen pretty high up to the ranks of Beyond Coast Police. Who's this dude? Salvatore Toscanini. He came from NYPD, Italian. 
Apparently, he resigned from Beyond Coast Police over 10 years or so ago. It looks like Ed, right? Ed Brown? That's Ed. He was chosen out of LAPD along with me. He looks thinner here compared to the LAPD picture. I guess that's it. All right. Oh, what the fuck? Someone's knocking on my door. <laughs> It's my client. What a bent cigarette with no smoke. <laughs> oh, so girl. Oh, that's Lorraine. Oh, shit. <laughs> you started the chest. So. Damn, she's kind of old now. Lorraine Fojo. <laughs> Damn, she's like 50, yo. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense that she would remarry. He was dead for like 25 years. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Lorraine, why are you here I'm here to help you. I don't think I'm her husband? I don't give a damn about your husband. What? She's already in. That's fucking bizarre. Because his wife, that's like old enough to be his mother now, wants me to help with her new husband. Oh, shit. I can look around. She got them white gloves on. What's that about? Jonathan, don't look at me like that. I'm 55 now. 55! <laughs> Please don't look at me that way. I want you to remember me the way I was when we were together. Okay. No doubt about it, it's really her. That necklace couldn't have been cheap. Yeah, it's Pearl. I thought it wasn't easy getting hold of Pearls on Beyond. That's right, they haven't had any success with culturing Pearls there, and the number produced on home continues to drop every year. <clears throat> Please don't look at me. Please don't look at my breasts. <laughs> That's a nice coat you've got. Yeah, I guess if you can if you can afford it, why not, right? You're best not wandering around this area just like that. All right, let's talk to old girl. Don't eat. Um, ask about, talk about. Let's let's talk about yourself. 